In this stressful time, we need to focus on what is most important, our health and the well-being of ourselves and our loved ones. We are hoping and praying for everyone and their families, thinking of each and every client during this trying time. We will get through this together. Today, I wanted to just share a few thoughts on the markets, a few opportunities, and let you know how our CJM family is doing. Many of our clients have asked why the markets have reacted so strongly to the coronavirus. These are uncertain times and markets do not like uncertainty. As a leading indicator, the markets have a tendency to overreact and then calm down as details emerge and the true economic impact is understood. Don't get me wrong, this event is having an impact, especially on healthcare and the economy, and will continue to in the coming months. We can't know what is coming, but we will be here, come what may, comforted and calm because we have planned for environments like this. For all of our clients, we invest in long-term diversified portfolios specifically designed for, to weather short-term fluctuations. For our clients relying on their portfolios for income, we have at least three to five years of the income you need in bonds and cash. Our plan for managing cash needs has worked historically and is working now. Our clients have been with us some for decades and they know that we'll have ups and downs and we will be fine on the other side. In January of 2009, our former chairman, Tim Jones, somewhat jokingly <laughs> suggested that clients do not have to open their statements and many did not and were spared a lot of worry. Now, I'm not suggesting you put your head in the sand. Just keep perspective that we're in the midst of a crisis and this too shall pass. Your quarterly performance reports will be coming in the coming weeks and your purging statements a little sooner. And this is just a snapshot of how your portfolio has done during only the first stage of this downturn. The recovery lies ahead. In life, we need to make lemonade when life hands us lemons. So there are a few opportunities to take advantage of at this time. First, the CARES Act was just passed. And this allows folks to defer taking their required minimum distribution from their IRA accounts. So if you don't need the income right now, consider leaving those dollars in your IRA and potentially lowering your tax bill as a result. Also, keep an eye on mortgage rates because they have dipped lower and it might be a good time to consider refinancing. Lastly, if you have excess cash, time is coming to consider investing at these lower prices while stocks are on sale. We are very grateful at CJM that we all have our health and our families around us. We are also lucky to have had all of the systems in place to work from home before this crisis started. And we will continue to work from home, keeping up operations as normal through May. Give us a call or shoot us an email anytime. That's all for now. Thank you for taking the time to watch today. And don't forget, wash your hands, keep your distance, and keep perspective. We'll get through this together.